All right, so for our next job, uh, Ember wants to try and do a little bit of wealth redistribution. She wants us to hack into Equity First Bank's ATMs and make them spit out all of the cash that they have contained within, within them. So let's take a look at how we do this. The first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have Execution Agent A work his way over to this bank here. So let's just, that's pretty straightforward. Now then, the... The way that the ATMs work is they have two registers inside them. They have a dispense register, which if you copy 20 into the dispense register, it will shoot out a 20. Now, the ATMs only have 20s within them. Then the cash register has not a cash register, but you get it. Uh, it shows how many bills are in there. That's not the total amount of money that's in the ATM. That's the number of $20 bills that are available in the ATM. So what we're going to end up having to do is for this ATM here that has 511 bills in it, we'll have to write 20 to the dispense register 511 times to make it actually spit out all of its money. Uh, but one of the interesting things, and I got to reset to show you this, is that where, which ATMs are available is different across runs. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to program ourselves to check every uh, possible, I saw one that had them all, check every possible link, here we go, between 800 and 806, because it's possible for them all to be there and it's possible for like, I think I saw one that only had like one or two, yeah, or a couple. So we'll need to try them all at the very least. So step one. We head into, I'm gonna call this the like, the dock where we could connect to all of our ATMs. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're gonna make use of our, my favorite T register looping technique. We're gonna need six, cause there's a total of seven ATM docks here. So we'll create six clones of ourselves and then the original will also be able to try one of them. So we copy six into T, we need to, do, we need to clone ourselves six times. We're gonna use the replicate command and I'm going to use the mark move in which is basically telling the execution agent move into the ATM and start dispensing cash so what it'll do is it'll replicate a move in and then execution agent a is going to add one to X so I'll, I started at 800 and he's so this one's gonna try and link on 800 the next one is gonna have X be 801 and is going to try and link over to 801 and this works here well because remember when you do replicate the registers get copied so when it, I replicated this one, XA0 has 800 in its X. So then when I add one to X and replicate again, it'll have 801. So it'll know that all it has to do is link X to go to its assigned ATM. This one will move in just fine. So will the next one. But when we try and create the next one, this one's going to try and link into 802. But 802 doesn't exist, so XA2 is going to end up erroring out and disappearing, and the same is going to happen to the next one after that, X3. But 4, 5, and 6, well, 4 and 5 will work. 6 is not actually going to be a clone, because XA is going to go into 806 itself. So now they've all been deployed, let's take a look at what they actually do to dispense the cash. So the first thing they do is they copy how many bills are into its T-Register. We're going to use the T-Register loop trick again. And over the loop, we're going to copy 20 to the dispense register. We're going to subtract one from T. And as long as we still have a value in T, we're going to loop back and keep dispensing. And it's important that we dispense only exactly the number of times we need to because an alarm will sound if uh, you try and dispense when there are no bills left available. So we have to do exactly enough and then stop. So that's what they do. They sit there, you can see that they're slowing, slowly uh, dispensing. You can see in the camera in the corner, I guess I can move myself for a moment to show you. Uh, the people will be gathering around the ATM because you know, who doesn't want to run up to an ATM when it's just spitting out free money for everybody. And yeah, we, we are going, we're dispensing, and then once they stop, the they, they self-terminate once they're done, because T has reached zero and they've run out of instructions. And there you go. So I'm gonna fast forward this. Still gonna take a second because this is one of the longer jobs. Uh, but yeah, we've now dispersed a whole bunch of money. It's probably gonna be chalked up to some kind of a technical glitch, uh, but it's not our problem. So we'll let this run until it finishes. 
And there you go. I was looking at this one before I recorded, and I, I, I am curious to know what these people here did to make this go so much faster. Uh, if you figure it out, uh, please let me know in the comments because this one, this one's interesting to me to figure out the actual solution for.